And now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about the hypocrisy of the Pharisees and how Jesus condemned their evil ways. They loved people to call them rabbi and receive praise from men. Someone might ask the question, what titles are appropriate for Christian leaders to take for themselves? Quite often we hear men calling themselves reverend or doctor or most reverend or some even go so far as to call themselves most right reverend. I hear some taking titles as pastor, apostle, prophet, or evangelist. There seems to be no end to these titles that are given for the distinction and honor of men. Well, judging from what Jesus said to us in this chapter, we can see the folly of men taking titles to themselves. I believe he meant this to apply more widely than the title rabbi, which simply means teacher. The spiritual title father should only be given to God the Father and not to men who rule over their congregations. Also we learn from the apostles example, for they did not heap names to themselves. You will not find anywhere in the New Testament Paul referred to as the Apostle Paul, but rather Paul an Apostle. The difference in these is very important, for in the one case it would be a dignified title, but in the other case a service for Christ. None of these men are referred to with titles such as Evangelist Philip or Prophet John or Teacher Timothy. All are addressed by their common names, with their work or ministry perhaps also given, but never as a title. Now let us also be clear that designations of apostles and prophets are not titles, but descriptions of their service and their ministries are no longer in effect. The original apostles are gone, and there was never any intention for this ministry to be continued. Both the ministry of apostles and prophets were designed to lay the foundation of the gospel in the first century. But once the foundation was laid and the canon of scripture completed, there was no longer a need for further prophetic or apostolic ministries to continue. I know some might disagree with this view, but it can be shown clearly from the scriptures but we do not have time or space to talk of this in detail now. The title reverend is especially wrong, for the term only appears once in the scripture and refers to God alone. For men to take an attribute that belongs to God alone is a very serious sin indeed. The Bible says, holy and reverend is his name, and this describes how God's name is to be held in the highest honor. The Hebrew word actually means to hold in fear or in awe. Men make a grave error when they take this word and apply it as a title for themselves. Should we hold men in fear and awe, which belongs to God alone? I think you know the answer. Well, what about the title pastor or evangelist? These are ministries that do continue with us today, but these are not intended to be titles but descriptions of the work some men do. Some do the work of evangelizing, and others look to the spiritual needs of God's people and therefore pastor them. This is their work, not a title, and you never find it anywhere used as a title in the Bible. The word pastor only occurs once in the New Testament. It is in the plural form and refers to mature men who care for Christians. Today the name pastor is so frequently used by men as an official title. Even the terms elder and deacon are not titles but descriptions of their character and the work that these men do. An elder means an older man who is spiritually mature and meets the character qualifications of 1 Timothy chapter 3. They labor at feeding and tending to the spiritual needs of those under their care. But we never read of Elder Peter or Elder Paul. We read, however, of Peter, a servant of Jesus Christ, who was also an elder. And this describes his service. We do not say Plumber Peter or Mechanic Michael. So why must we say Pastor Paul? There are no titles that Christian leaders should take for themselves. 
but they might speak of their ministry or work as an evangelist, teacher, preacher, elder, or deacon. It is always proper for any of God's people to accept the name Christian or brother, or to be called a bondservant of Jesus Christ. Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos, but ministers through whom you believed, as the Lord gave to each one? 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 5.